Hi, this is Dr. Gary and welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Yesterday morning, I played a video on our live program, The Morning Jump Start, at 7 o'clock Pacific Time. I've had a lot of feedback from that video. What it was, was our soldiers coming home and their animals greeting them and their families. And it was primarily centered around the dogs, how happy they were to see these people return home. And the feedback I got, I thought it deserved mentioning to some of you who in the tune-ups may have not have seen that program live yesterday. So for the rest of this week, I want us to be conscious of something that's going on in this country I feel is really important and a lot of people are missing it and a lot of people are unaware of it. We have soldiers, men and women coming home now that are coming back to their country which they defended and they're being dishonored People are angry with them because they're blaming them for the war efforts. They're calling them warmongers. I've witnessed people being rude to these people, turning their back on them. Yet I know a lot of you appreciate them and I've also seen a little bit of that. But here's the problem. They've been over there fighting a war and they've sacrificed a lot. We all sacrifice a lot. But you've been here enjoying the good fruits of America even since 2008 with our economic crisis. It's been a struggle, but this hasn't been as big a struggle for us as it has been them fighting these wars. These young people are coming home now to shattered homes, lost homes, foreclosed homes, very few jobs. These are good people, they've had great training. One thing our armed forces does is do a good job training people into trades sometimes that are very valuable even out here. But there's not a lot of jobs for these people right now. Yet they find themselves defending a country, then coming back and almost being abandoned by the citizens and their friends who they've been defending. I think that's wrong. I want all of us to take another look at the way we behave and the way we feel about all of this. These are our kids. You know, they're the same age as my kids and younger. They've been out there doing their duty. And we have a volunteer force now. Thank goodness there are people that are actually willing to do this. They didn't have to, they chose to, to defend their country because they believe in the ideals and the principles of our constitution and the liberties of this country. And yet you can go down to a store or listen to a group of youngsters on the curb enjoying the good life of America and the freedoms they have to say what they wanna say and some of you non-contributing negative people putting these people down with no right to do so. I want us to evaluate that and when we see someone doing that call their attention to they're enjoying the freedoms these people fought for and when you see a soldier coming home woman or a man thank them thank them for their sacrifice it is huge some of these people are coming home to children or a baby they've never seen because they were gone when it was born. Think about you in that situation. How would you feel if your country turned its back on you? Today, I want us to open up our minds and open up our hearts to these people coming home now. They're part of us, they're part of our family. And even though our country's going through some economic upheaval, so is the rest of the world. And here in America, these people have still made this the greatest place in the world to be. Whether you want to believe it or not, it is. I want you to open up your heart and think about that. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day and enjoy your freedom and take care of it. Bye-bye.